Hello, today I would like to show you this book. It's a book called Throughout Wolf Martyrs by written by Keith McEfferty and it's a detective story. It's not bad detective story. Uh, I recommend you this book and there's a lot of fly fishing so that's a plus for us. And why I show you this book is uh, because somehow I don't want to tell you actually the the, the story, but the the royal wolf is somehow connected to a, a victims of martyrs on the on the river, and uh, so I decided to, to show you how to tie this fly if you just about to commit in this kind of murder. You 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 will definitely need some of these flies, and. Only the thing is probably the I would tie uh, a bar barbless version. Maybe for this purpose you you better you better go for for some barbed hook. Uh, so we will tie this fly, and uh, if you will change your mind, then you can use the fly for for trout because it's a great trout fly. Okay, what well, we need. Some hooks, dry fly hooks. I'm use size 10 here. Jemco uh, 100 barbless hook. For thread, some black thread, 6.0, maybe better, 8.0. I'm using uh, nano silk, it's 12.0, strong enough, uh, and thinner. For tail, you can use some deer hair actually the original was probably a bucktail if i remember right uh, now there is many people using this moose body hair i also use the moose mane hair some some dark some dark hairs like this uh, for wigs of course the calf tail it's a white calf tail and uh, for body, you're going to need some red, uh, red floss like here, or some red body thread, some red silk, accompanied with a pickaxe handle. Yeah, you also, if you have, uh, use a stacker for, I mean, for the tail, but mostly for wing, for wing, from a calf tail. Uh, it's not really necessary, but uh, it's much easier to use it. And last but not least, uh, some brown rooster cycle. So let's get started. Uh, as I said, the hook I'm using here is size 10. It's Tiemco 100 SP BL SP. Is for a spare point. Thread is uh, nano silk in black, 12 0 uh, strong enough. If you use the uni thread or some standard thread, use 8 0 uh, instead. Cover the hook shank and for tail. I'm using this uh, moose body hair. Just take a bunch. I don't need much. Something like this. And I will put this in a, in a stacker. Put it in. Tap it several times, so you even the tips. Tie in. How long? Well, I'm doing this slightly shorter than the body of the fly. So something like this. Okay, 
SQL. I will trim this under an angle. And cover more, more. And I will tie now wings. So take a calf tail. Again, take a bunch. Um, I don't know, a bit more than this, like this, maybe, yeah. trim, we will, you can take some, some dense, some fine hairbrush, like this one, and remove this under four, so it will better slide in, in a sticker. Yep, Let's put it again in a sticker and tap. Again, again, this is the, your bench. Good. Remove. How long these wings? Well, it actually can be similar, uh, like the tail. So just put it in here, over, on top, keep it on top. That's too, too much. You can tie this and just try to rise it. Mm. I believe something like this. Keep uh, enough space in here. Uh, there should be a pretty big bunch of echoes. Secure and I will now trim it. So we will partially fill the gap uh, when the tail been trimmed and was secure as well. It's good to here. It's good to have strong thread. Um, you can use some glue, super glue, uh, not necessary. And now we can already. I will just trim this, and we can already split the wings. So, split them into two equal parts and with cross thread wraps, make two wings. Now you can use the thread and use around every single, single wing. I will just take the thread and go around. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going around and and try to make a bit more narrow the V shape of the of the wing. Uh, it should be something like this. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going with the thread around both, and then again some cross. just tie some thread base here as well and yeah, trim this I can show you it something like this is perfect and we go in for the for the body, uh, I didn't say, say I said nothing about the the fly. Uh, you speak of hello. One is enough, one long. Of course, it's a royal wolf, 
and it been designed by uh, Mr. Wolf as the name suggests uh, but uh, actually there's there have been a very similar fly and it was uh, tied by beaver kill uh, fly tire quacken uh, bush and this fly is still known till these days it's very similar it's just maybe a bit uh, more sparse more slender and have the tail from a rooster as well if i remember right and it's been called Qu quack coachman or harrowing throughout coachman quack special this fly royal wolf uh, coming from a uh, leaf wolf uh, and it's uh, from uh, the series of um, of hair wing uh, flies like the white wolf royal wolf gray wolf uh, then uh, black wolf as well and brown wolf i believe uh, so you can call it both quack or royal wolf uh, yeah the fly is highly visible which is great and uh, it's floating well and you can rice some lion fish which will not rise for a small one if there's no hedge uh, you can rice the trout with uh, something big like this and this high contrast in a you know in a white and red and black probably uh, trigger the fish now we tied the the first segment now going for a floss Red. This is this is only floss red. Take piece and tie in. It actually during the summer days it can trigger the fish and will lead to a explosive rise on the surface. It's somehow trigger the aggressiveness and, and uh, curiosity of, of fish somehow uh, I like to use th this fly for brook trout and brown trout uh, and I read somewhere it's uh, great for rainbows I don't know it's not my I don't think so I, I really like it for for brook trout it really it really works for me not uh, so good for rainbows but I read for some some guys it works great for rainbows and yeah so that's the second part and again a pickaxe hero tying Yeah, we can go with the thread in front of wings already and just do the second peacock part secure you can secure it over uh, but I don't want the, this I don't want this white down. Sorry for this. And yeah, secure. Okay, you should go with uh, the heckle, like, I don't know, like two wrap uh, behind the wings and like four or five 
in front of. So just tie in rooster heckle uh, long enough to get uh, the genetic is very good here. And start to wrap these one and two and one and two three four I'm not going for the crazy I'm not fishing the raw water so I don't know I, I made just five or six now I'm going to use straw a piece of straw and probably know this to keep the hackers away from from the who guy I will already trim and put the piece of straw here and secure as well the other hat can be a bit bigger yep and I think it's fine we finish you see now the it it actually rises the uh, rises these wings a bit more. So don't worry when they are first uh, a, a bit laying down, uh, you will rise them with uh, with, uh, with these echoes. Okay, now just we finish. and tie down one here a drop of drop of varnish you can tie this in in orange you can tie this in yellow sharp draw uh, the floss it works well as well uh, it can resemble uh, many many reddish big, big mayflies as well but usually it's probably something like some terrestrial big morsel for trout and it's really like uh, attract a dry fly triggering the aggressivity uh, this this uh, vivid colors and, and uh, this uh, fanciful appearance of the fly uh, can really rise the fish from from the deep and not a small not a small one really it's big size is great for big trout as a I, I wrote a sentence somewhere here what a wolf wrote yeah wolf wrote uh, if I were a trout I would be darned if I would come up from the depths to the surface to get a skinny buck for a hedge maybe, but for one buck, uh, yeah, for one buck, you need a big buck. Uh, it probably is like uh, from a 30s, so it's almost like 90 years, 80 years. And still, still you can find it in more, many, uh, maybe most uh, fly boxes around the world. So that's all for today. Thanks and bye.